मार दिया अबे अंधा है क्या यार का लगा है से एक फिट दूर खड़ी है इतनी तेज की लगी है मुझे ठीक है हर वक्त If you want to make sure that you don't see yourself caught up in between road scams like these, you need to watch this video. This kind of an incident can happen with anyone. This is one of the reasons that a dash cam is important to have in your car. But which dash cam is the best for your vehicle is something that we will help you figure out. Today we will be reviewing the Easy Drive Plus dash cam and with this review we will let you know what are some of the things and features you need to ensure are necessary to have in your dash cam. So let's start. One of the most important things to have in your dash cam is the video quality. The Easy Drive Plus comes with a 5 megapixel camera and a Sony IMX335 sensor. This is shot taken from the front camera in 4K 25 FPS. The camera quality is good and if your car is between 50 to 60 kilometers per hour, even then you will be able to capture the number of any vehicle within a distance of 15 to 20 feet. The full HD quality footage does drop the quality overall and it makes it difficult to read the numbers of any vehicles, but still legible. So make sure that whenever you're buying a dash cam, you at least get 4K video recording quality. The Easy Drive Plus has stabilization built into the camera. So whenever you are going over potholes or a speed breaker, the video clarity isn't affected. And as you can see, it's quite stable. Always make sure that the camera has a good field of view, which is FOV, at least 170 degrees. This makes sure that you can capture a larger part of the road so that even if someone hits your car on the side, it will be captured on the dash cam. This is the night footage captured on the Easy Drive Plus and it's in 4K. Try making sure that you're recording in 4K quality as it gives you the opportunity to review the footage later. Despite the fact that the Easy Drive Plus front camera has 2.0 aperture, the video quality recorded in FHD Plus resolution at night isn't that great. The one thing that you need to keep in mind when buying a dash cam is that it offers micro SD card support. The Easy Drive Plus comes with support for 256 GB of micro SD card storage. But make sure that you delete the older footage if you want to keep some data on your card. So if there's footage of any incident that you want to save for later, make sure that you save it. Otherwise, the dash cam will write new footage over the older one and then you will lose out on the older footage. You can also decide for how many minutes you want the recording to happen via the phone's setting. Now we have the Easy Drive Plus variant which comes with a rear camera. The rear camera attachment is necessary for people who want to record everything that is happening in the rear of the car because there are people who drive too close to your rear and that can be a problem. So if you get hit on the back, 90% of the times it's the fault of the person driving behind you because either they are too close or not maintaining enough braking zone. Also make sure that your dash cam comes with GPS because that gives you information of where the accident happened and also can give you extra data to help with insurance or any court cases that you get involved in. If your camera has an LCD screen, that is a great addition. The Easy Drive Plus camera comes with a 3-inch HD LCD screen in which you can view the recording footage and also other features of the camera. The dash cam also comes with an emergency record feature and that is a great feature to have in case you want to record a specific incident during an accident. All you need to do is just press this button and the specific footage will be saved in another separate folder. To change the setting of this dash cam, you get physical buttons that are available at the bottom. You can also use the Easy Drive app to change settings or make any adjustments to the recording, which can be connected via Wi-Fi. You can also change the camera resolution and set it between the resolutions of 4K to HD. The Easy Drive Plus comes with a three axis G sensor, which can help you detect collision, lane change, or even if your car is going fast. You also get an audio recording feature for some instances where the incidents might happen inside the car. These are helpful for references. Despite the fact that this dash cam comes with level zero ADAS, which is advanced driver assistance systems, it wasn't really that helpful for us. There were many times when I was changing the lane and I was getting alerts after three to four seconds. 
There were also times when I wasn't even getting alerts, even when I was changing the lane. Secondly, the collision system alert wasn't working with the accuracy that I had expected. There were times when there was a car at least 20 meters ahead of me and despite that, I wasn't getting any vehicle ahead alerts which was surprising. Before we end the video, we want to just highlight some of the issues you can have when installing a dash cam in your car. A dash cam comes with wiring, so make sure that you take it to a service center or someone who is equipped at handling wires inside a car because otherwise you will see these dangling wires and it never looks good. You will need to place your camera at a very strategic position to make sure that it captures the entire part of the road. This is essential and the Easy Drive Plus also comes with an adjustable mount which can ensure that you are angled in the perfect position to capture everything. So this was a comprehensive video and some of the things you need to look out for when you're buying a dash cam in the market. Please share this with your friends, your family or anyone who's buying a dash cam because these will help them make a better buying decision. This is Cyrus signing off on Fiber. Take care.